Hello Stamper, welcome to Frenchie's video. Well today I'm going to show you how to do those fun little uh, pinwheel like to do a centerpiece or you can use it scrapbook wherever you want. So let's get started. I'm moving you around here. First thing you want to do is uh, decide the size that you want but you need a square piece of paper. So in this case this is four by four. The big one here is five and a half by five and a half. I get four by four, and the tiny one here it is um, three and a half by three and a half. So let's get started. We're gonna st start with our piece of paper here that it is a four by four. We're gonna fold it diagonal this way. and then fold again the other way always diagonal not uh, you know straight diagonal now we're going to take our scissors and we're going to cut our fold to the center but uh, about I would say a quarter inch from the center because if we go all the way in the center we're going to have triangle by the time we're done so I'm going to cut my four piece Here again. So now we get our four piece cut. We have to uh, do our holes to put our brads in to hold it. So we're going to put our all, all on the, it doesn't matter if it's all on the right or on the left, but you have to be consistent with it. So I'm going to go on the left. So there, turn it around. So I'll just do it on the left. So each triangle just need one hole. That's it. Oops. So now that we get that done, we're going to take our, um, I pre-cut then, I use the 7-8 uh, scallop punch for the front and the one and a quarter for the back. And I had a little bread here and I bet I lost it. Let me reach another one. And I like the mini brads for that. The other one I had, um, cannot find my mini brads here. Here they are. The other one I had leftover flowers, so I used that. But right now we're going to use the mini brads. What you're going to do is take one of your um, triangle where your hole is, put your, oops, I'm sorry forget my centerpiece. Centerpiece, put your uh, punch your hole in the center. Now we're going to start with this. Put your brad, because that's going to be the front. And I'm going to put this here. Then I go the front of it. I crisscross them. I'm going to go this one. I try both ways and it's not a big difference, but it's a little better if you crisscross them. Now I'm going to go over here, and now this one, last one. And the bigger that you use your um, square, the easier it is, of course. Now we get this. Now we're going to punch this right in the center. And the reason why I didn't do a, a hole in the center, it seemed I never get it right on. So, I just bring my bread, push it through. Nope, I didn't have it. My bread went way down here. Let me open this again. Where is my bread? I lost my bread. Some oh, I close it. Let's reopen the bread here. When I push down, I guess I close my bread. Let's make sure your bread is open. Now let's poke this through. Okay, voila. Now it's poke all the way through. I'm going to put this in the back and then close it. Whoops. I just get one a leg of my bread. Here we go. So now we got it. The way that I attach it to my straw. I took my straw 
and I use the tiny old punch and I punch my old right in the center of my straw and now you get your straw that you can put your bread in. And I remember I just get one leg of my bread, I lost the other one, whatever it gets stuck there. Voila! So now you got it. Then I use the bob stick, whatever, the bamboo straw. I use one of this. Poke it in the foam. I use those um, foam, it's for the flower foam. And this one here I cut it right in two. Put it in my little bucket. Oh no, I'm going to have to lift you up here a little bit. So I put it in my bucket and then I punch my uh, straw in. Not my straw, but my um, my bamboo straw. And then you're going to take uh, this and you're going to slide it in. So you can snap this. It's very easy to snap. You just snap it. If that happens, you can use your scissors and just cut this off here. And then you can have the different uh, length of them like this here. So that's going to be our centerpiece for our little uh, fling thing here with some flower ones. So this is how I did my pinwheel. Hope you learned something new. Till next time, happy stamping.